What I'm going to do in this video is upgrade all these T12 8 foot uh, lights, to, fluorescent lights to LEDs. And this actually wasn't my idea. This was Crozer Mac and Carrie Lamare's idea. And I'll put a link to their channels uh, in the description. And I got all these LED bulbs off of eBay. It was uh, $368 and that was free shipping and no tax. And these light bulbs have two rows of LEDs. The ones with a single row are cheaper. But that was for uh, 25 of these bulbs. I actually need 22 of them to do all the lights because there's two both garages and under the carport. And to do these, all you have to do is remove the ballast and rewire it to where there's 110 volts going to each one of the plugs to the bulb, to, uh, bulb holders. Yeah, and a few years ago I replaced all the lights inside the house with LEDs and the floodlights outside. So these are about the only lights that are left that I haven't done. Yeah, so this is pretty simple to do. Both of these blue wires will either go to the neutral or the hot wire, and the red wire will either go to the neutral or the hot wire. Yeah, three of these lights already I've had to replace the ballast in them over the years. I've only put, I put these lights up like six and a half years ago, so it's going to be much better not having ballast in there to go bad. Yeah, so now I have the ballast removed and I got it rewired without the ballast. And I just turned the lights off to do this. Yeah, and here's what it looks like with one of them done. And it's definitely brighter. So now about the only thing left to do is you put a zip tie around the middle to keep the bulbs from sagging in the middle. Yeah, and there's definitely a noticeable difference in how bright it is over here. Yeah, I'm not going to show how to do all of these because they're all the same. The ones under the carport should make a big difference because that doesn't have enough light there. Yeah, there's a big, huge difference in the amount of light these put out. Yeah, originally I put four lights in here and it wasn't enough, and that's why I added that other one by the door. Yeah, now I wouldn't even need five lights in here. Yeah, I've got two of them done and it's bright. Yeah, I got three of them done. Yeah, and on camera you probably won't notice the big huge difference, but it makes one hell of a difference. It was well worth spending the money to buy these LED bulbs, which I think that's only about $14 a piece. Yeah, i got to move the two cars out to do the other two. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put sunglasses on just to go in the garage now. Yeah, and here's what it looks like in this garage with all the lights done. It is bright. This was definitely well worth doing this. Especially the older you get, the harder it is to see anyways. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm doing the ones under the carport. And these lights are not recommended to go outside, so I'm not sure how well they'll hold up. That's why I'm going to save some of the ballast and some of the light bulbs just in case I have to put it back the way it was. And at night I'll turn these on to see how much brighter it is. Yeah, so I got both of them done under the carport. And I'm also going to do something with these lights under here. These are just four foot uh, fluorescent lights and they sell the bulbs at Home Depot and a place called Batteries and Bulbs. They're like ten bucks a piece. And I've got some lights coming for here. Yeah, these are uh, three foot fluorescent lights. They're hard to even get the bulbs for them. But I got some other, like, they look like work lights but they're made for outdoors. And they, they're going to shine down so it'll give it a lot more light out here. Yeah, so now I'm going to do the four lights here in this garage. And here's one of them done in this other garage. And how I got that zip tie up there is I just loosened the screws up in the middle of the light a little bit. So there's enough clearance. And these two lights, there's enough clearance where I don't have to do that. And I think I'll have to do that on this one in the back here. Yeah, that definitely made a huge difference in here. Yeah, normally how I get rid of these bulbs is I stick it in a piece of pipe. And have it where it's about a foot hanging out of one end, where it's down in a garbage can, and I hit it with a hammer. But since I got this many of them to get rid of, I'm just going to tape this box back shut and step on it and break all of them at once. Okay, there's no point on me keeping them since I still got about a. Uh... Yeah, there's ten brand new ones up there in that box, which I won't use anyways. And there's three new of the LED lights that are up I put up in that box also. 
just in case any of these ever go bad. Yeah, I just went to Home Depot and bought four of these light bulbs, and these are the brightest ones to replace these uh, lights up here. And you have to watch which ones you buy. Some of them, they work with the ballast. I bought the kind that you remove the ballast. Yeah, it's better to get rid of the ballast. It's just one more thing to go bad. Yeah, and it even comes with two more of these sockets that it goes into and some wire nuts. Yeah, and how these lights get wired is they're powered only from one end of the bulb. So the other end, you don't have any uh, wires going to it. Yeah, and it's definitely way brighter than the original lights. There's one of the original ones. Yeah, that definitely makes a big difference out here in how bright it is. Yeah, when I get to change these other two lights, it'll be a lot better yet. Yeah, and here's what it looks like under the carport at night. Boy, it is bright. And over here it's bright too, but once I get those other lights out here, it'll look a lot better. Yeah, I just got two of these lights on eBay. These are 100 watt LED lights. And I got these electrical boxes. And I'm going to put them up here to replace those two lights. Yeah, here's what it looks like with just one of those lights up. And that definitely makes a difference right here. Yeah, every once in a while when I got too many projects going on, I'll work on something here. Yeah, it's all finished. This is really going to make it good to work out here at night now.